So yeah, it was around 1997-98 that we met with uh, Uncle Lionel and like I was saying that he then became the chairperson of the board at the Film Resource Unit and uh, from that time onwards I found myself spending quite a lot of time with uh, this uh, old man and uh, I was attracted to this old man more than anything else by his knowledge of African cinema, his experience, his network his friends were people whose films I revered. Uncle Lionel had spent a lot of time with people like Osman Semben, with Jibril Diop Mambeti, with Suleiman Sise. People that, when I got introduced to the theory of African cinema, these were my Steven Spielbergs. I didn't study Spielberg. These are people that I had studied. Uncle Lionel had a lot of hope when he came back from exile. Hope for a better future. Hope for a South African film and television industry that would at least espouse some of the vision that Uncle Lionel had grown up working with. The vision of a equal South Africa, the vision of freedom, freedom of speech a vision of filmmakers being able to have the resources. Not just the money, but even just the information, the different kind of information that would assist them in making a different kind of cinema. Uncle Lionel was a proponent of socially relevant cinema, very inspired by third world cinema, and I got attracted to having conversations about Fernando Solanas with an old man, whereas my peers were not interested in any of that world. So from that time onwards, my journey with Uncle Lionel took me to follow in his footsteps, so to speak.